Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon and Virgo Rising weekly tarot reading August 13 to August 19, 2018. So this is going to be a four card tarot spread and after I'm done with tarot cards I will also do a Lenormand reading for Virgo for the week that it is coming. So the first card will represent the topic for the week for Virgo here. The second card resembles the core of the situation for Virgo. Then the third card does represent the um, difficulties Virgos are going to have in regards to those couple of cards. And then uh, the last one, <clears throat> it is expressing up the guidance uh, or the best possible way to approach the week. So uh, let's see what you got here Virgo. Now the first card that will be the Wheel of Fortune. So this is going to be by itself a, a very busy week. Uh, either career wise or relationship wise the, the, the week is going to be dappled with around turns and saturated with, um, with opportunities. Uh, sometimes the Wheel of Fortune uh, comes up as once in a lifetime opportunity, one to make difference and to alter outcome. So that could, by itself, that could be a very significant week in your life, in which this time around you will have the power to change, you know, a course of events, right? Because the Wheel of Fortune represents that the, the uh, wheel of your ship right now, it is in your steady hand rather than in, uh, rather than given to the chance or to the universe. So you can kind of like direct it. And usually those kind of a circumstances, the business, you know, and the opportunities, etc., etc., they come around chaotically. So it, it, it looks like that we have no control whatsoever upon the situation and if uh, especially for you Virgo if we're used to overthink things too much then uh, yeah we may not seize the moment but what what you need to understand or the right or the right mindset for the wheel of fortune is that the uh, yeah it is a chaos all right but this chaos does not affect you as a matter of fact it works in your favor so um, that way around imagine yourself in the middle of a, a hurricane or imagine yourself in the eye of the storm and as the storm is swirling around um, numerous opportunities then it is up to you to kind of like um, extend your hand and pick up whichever opportunity you want to take advantage of and the core of the situation of or why this is happening what what is the fuel of it that will be the lover's card and this card shows that you have made recently or you are about to make a, a very important decision for your life. A decision that most likely is going to change everything. Uh, and that is decision uh, which uh, it is meant to incorporate or to restore the harmony in your life. So in other words, if you have made something against your code of conduct recently, now uh, in this week you are going to fix that. You are going to have a change of heart, for example, you know over something you didn't thought back in time that it is very um uh, that it is very justful for your behalf or in general very justful and you will have the chance to kind of fix this kind of error or mistake on the very least this card the lower scar represents that you are going to realize what you truly need because that is in general sense the lover's card realizing that you know following a foreign uh, structures following a foreign patterns like in one relationship or like in one career uh, patterns that give you no joy but only thing that they do is obstructing you will serve you no favor in the long run and that's why you are going to take a, a step forward to make a stand if you want to say it that way and do something you know to improve not just your circumstances but your entire life by uh, taking advantage as I said of the every single opportunity coming in your way for the duration of the week. Now, the difficulties that you have to face, however, this is going to be the Ten of Cups. A very peculiar card here falling up. Now, 
Ten of Cups uh, resembles the uh, the human nature in general. It resembles the nature of the, uh, the despite of how much we want we 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 have. Excuse me, we do always want more, and that is nothing but a a little bit of a poignant state which you may have, wishing that the opportunities presented to you would have been better. Now uh, think it like uh, think think it that way. What if you were not presented with any kind of opportunity. So it's about being grateful, all right? So you will have difficulty to be, uh, or kind of like, it will be challenging for you to be grateful of um, whatever fortune it is given to you during this week, um, either because you will think that you do deserve more, or either because you would have wished that it, it would have been better, or you would have wished that it's gonna happen on its own accord. All right, because some of those opportunities, even though taken here, um, they will require from you to cause a little bit of a conflict, you know, to attend to some um, contradicting uh, measures that you are not comfortable of uh, doing, etc., etc. But um, again, no pain, no gain, guys. So um, whatever uh, you need to think of the end goal here what the end goal is going to uh, give you and how it's going to reflect your life and that is the way you kind of like uh, will decide is it worth it or not and your decision um, in generic meaning here with the lover's card is going to be always always right because with the lover's card in the core of the situation it means that there is no way you can make the wrong decision either way of the situation is going to serve you for the greater good and the last one is the um, guidance that you should adopt now this is the six of pentacles and this points that you first have to kind of let yourself to go with the current here going against the current trying to swim against the current will serve you nothing but a difficulty when you go with the current you know you have a, a flow which helps you move forward when you try to swim against the current you struggle so what you have to do is uh, deny struggling here you just go with the flow that is what the car asks you guys also the car points that you need to find measures you know to kind of counterbalance the excitement and the uh, fast flow of events of those uh, of this chaos here which is the positive chaos that it is awaiting you and uh, I don't know what that could be for you all right I know for me but yeah you need to find something to counter measure it because otherwise you could be carried away uh, <clears throat> with the current so you, you basically need to find your breaks where are your breaks once you kind of like uh, straight um, um, uh, straight with those uh, opportunities which you decide to take on and finally the six of pentacles also asks you to be a little bit more creative and to um, acknowledge a certain um, a certain problems that are currently undertaking in your environment I don't give them a silent treatment and don't pretend that they do not exist because right now they are petite ones but if leave if leave if left unattended they are going to escalate and become quite severe and finally let's see what the Lenormand card says for you we do have the birds then is um, the coffin and then is uh, the bear so we have a, an end of a gossip now gossips which are going to be set on how they're going to be extinguished here with the coffin will grant you authority will grant you support will grant you uh, consolidation all right and the most important thing is will grant you power so it seems that the week is going to be very potent for you Virgos and I hope that you make the best out of it. That being said guys, this was your weekly tarot reading and um, if you are interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Um, oh, one more thing, uh, that could be as well that a lie is going to be proven wrong and that is going to give you the upper hand here. So yeah. Um, 
that was the weekly reading and uh, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.